What's up, friends? This is Jazz bringing you another Gamers Pickup number 78. Today I got two physical games to show ya. Well, let's get going. The first game I got, and I have to make sure it's the right way around, is Pokemon Snap for the Nintendo 64. I got this for $23 off of Lukey Games, I believe. So. The only downside is that so far, I had tried it, and it had worked okay previously. And if this game isn't the, the game isn't the issue, guys, the game is great. It's now, for some reason, my aunt can't, we, both of my aunt and I can't figure out how to get the Nintendo 64 working. It worked fine when we tested it before Christmas. Literally, we plugged it in, it, it showed the picture, I played a level of this. Suddenly, I pl we plug it in after Christmas, we try to get the thing screwed in, and nope, it's cloud, it's snow, you can't, like, get anything. But hopefully someday I'll be able to play this, I have it in my collection anyway, I've never owned this game before, I've played it when it came out at Blockbuster when I was a child, and I mean, I think I sucked at it then, but hey, at least I knew I improved. Because I at least did a decent score on the first level when I tried it for Christmas. Anyway, once I can play this, it'll be worth it. Maybe I'll talk more about it, make a video on it or something, if I can get it working. The final game I got, which I may have accidentally showed, but maybe you didn't see it enough, is Pokemon Sword. I got this for Christmas, too. I got this for... Yeah. Remember how I was saying how... I really don't have much money two videos ago, or, you know, months ago, $91 for this. Yeah. I mean, it's a full game, at, at least, but it... Really, $91 Game Freak. Nintendo, uh, I'm just trying to say who to blame. I mean, both. $91. And this is, and the sad thing is, I'm going to go into a f minute maybe of a mini rant about this. It, this isn't an isolated incident, actually. A lot of the Switch's cartridges are almost that pricey. For some stupid reason. I mean, the 3DS games weren't as bad. I mean... I mean, okay, I can sort of forgive them more than I can with The Sims and their $51 DLC. I mean, there's supposed to be new DLC coming out for this game, and that's, I think, maybe $15 a piece, or is that $30 a piece? But hey, even $30 a piece is better than what The Sims is doing. All right. All right. Got to slow down. What do I feel of this game despite the price? I really enjoy it. I mean, it is definitely, you definitely will get more out of it if you have Nintendo Online. Unlike uh, Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, where you can use that to trade with others, and that is the extent of it. Well, uh, I was going to say, that's the, extent, that's the extent of it. With this, you could do the online... You know, random trades, you can do the raid battles. So I think out of both of the games that have been for the Switch for Pokemon so far, this has utilized the online features a lot better. So I can for I mean, I the price is ridiculous still, but I really did enjoy the game. I beat it all very much. I've spent hours on this game. That's probably why I was so lacking on my videos. Partially. Partially. I'm just a lazy ass sometimes. And yet, guys, I'm not gonna hide that from ya. I just like some... Okay, everyone can be sometimes. Though, in my defense. I mean, what do they call it, though? They also call it video burnout? Yeah, that's the right word for it. Where you wanna just play games on your own or watch videos on your own. That, that's what it is. But anyway, guys, again, this is pricey, but I really did enjoy it. So, you know what? I'm not mad. Okay, still gonna stop that rant about the Sims games and their prices. 
So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and like what you see, please subscribe. It helps this channel a lot. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll know when new videos are coming out. And I will see you guys in my next video.